Hi students, problem number 25. Two metal wires of same length and diameter are connected in series. If sigma 1 and sigma 2 are the conductivities of the wires respectively, then the effective conductivity of the combination is asked here. So the first wire is uh, having a conductivity of sigma 1, which is the reciprocal of the resistivity rho 1. Similarly, sigma 2 is the conductivity of the second wire. So it must be the reciprocal of the resistivity rho 2. So what do you mean the two wires, uh, though they are having the same length and area of cross section, since their conductivities are different, they are not made up of the same material. This you should understand. They are made up of different material. So when they are connected in series like this, kept in contact, the new length of this wire is L plus L 2L and the area of cross section is still A only. Have you understood this idea? Okay. Now, for the first wire, the resistance is R1. So R1 must be equal to rho 1 into L by A. Similarly, the resistance of the second wire is R2. So R2 must be equal to, R2 must be equal to rho 2 into L by A. So when they are connected in series, when they are connected in series, then R equivalent, R equivalent must be equal to rho 1 into L by A plus rho 2 into L by A because in series combination R equivalent is equal to R1 plus R2 so I have added these two so R equivalent R equivalent is equal to rho 1 plus rho 2 into common factor is L by A this is equation 1 okay now when these two wires when these two wires are combined in series then I can write another equation R equivalent is also equal to rho equivalent. Rho equivalent is the effective value of the resistivity when they are combined into the length of this wire new length is 2L divided by A. 2L divided by A and this is equation 2. So we have got two equations. The left hand sides of both the equations uh, are the same. Therefore, I am going to equate the right hand sides. Uh. So, rho equivalent, rho equivalent into 2L by A is equal to rho 1 plus rho 2 into L by A. So, I am going to cancel the common terms. L and A get cancelled on both sides. So, what is remaining? 2 into rho equivalent. So, 2 into rho equivalent is equal to rho 1 plus rho 2. Rho 1 plus rho 2. Now, a similar problem we have solved already. What is the equivalent resistivity? The equivalent resistivity is equal to rho 1 plus rho 2 divided by 2. Is it not that? But here, I am going to take the reciprocal. Now, this is a 2 into... 2 into the reciprocal of rho only is sigma. So the reciprocal of rho equivalent must be equal to what? Uh, sigma equivalent. So this is uh, 1 divided by sigma equivalent. This is equal to 1 divided by sigma 1 plus 1 divided by sigma 2. Because resistivity is the reciprocal of conductivity. Like that I can write Okay, so this is now equal to, if you cross multiply and take LCM on the right hand side, it is sigma 1 plus sigma 2 divided by sigma 1 into sigma 2 or 1 by sigma equivalent, 1 by sigma equivalent is equal to sigma 1 plus sigma 2 whole divided by 2 into sigma 1 sigma 2. Okay, now if you take uh, the reciprocal, reciprocal of this equation, therefore, therefore, left hand side if you take a reciprocal, it is sigma equivalent. 
right hand side if you take the reciprocal means it is 2 sigma 1 sigma 2 whole divided by sigma 1 plus sigma 2. So this is the final answer. So the equivalent conductivity of this combination is found to be equal to 2 sigma 1 sigma 2 by sigma 1 plus sigma 2. So which option is the correct answer you see here option A. So option A is found to be the correct answer. Okay, therefore option A is the correct answer. Have you understood? Fine. Hi students, problem number 26. When current I is flowing through a conductor, the drift velocity is V. If the value of the current through the conductor and its area of cross section both are doubled, then the new drift velocity is found to be which of the four options you have to find out. Now what is the expression relating current and drift velocity? So the current I is equal to N A E into V. That is the drift velocity. So here I is the current flowing through the conductor. N is the number of electrons per unit volume. A is the area of cross section. E is the charge of the electron and V is the drift velocity. So initially I will take the symbol I1 is the current and V1 is the drift velocity. Okay. And here A1, A1 is the area of cross section because here what is mentioned here is if the value of the current through the conductor and the area of cross section both are getting doubled. So initially the area of cross section is A1 I will take. So from this I1 divided by A1 is equal to N into E into V1 or you can see here I1 by A1 is proportional to V1 okay because N and E are constants similar equation for the second case I am going to write so I2 so current I2 is equal to N into A2 into E into V2 because the drift velocity will change Area of cross section also has changed. So second time, now the current I2 by A2. So I2 divided by A2 is equal to N into E into V2. Or a similar equation like before. I will write I2 divided by A2 is proportional to V2. So, I will rewrite the first one and the second expression like this. I will rewrite this separately here. So, V1 is proportional to I1 by A1 and V2 is proportional to I2 divided by A2. Now, I will take the ratio V2 divided by V1. V2 divided by V1 is I2 divided by A2 multiplied by the reciprocal A1 divided by I1 okay so like that I have taken now initially initially the current is I and uh, now this is equal to I2 divided by A2 or I2 by I1 I2 by I1 into A1 divided by A2 like that I will write that now you can see here if the value of the current through the conductor and its area of cross section are doubled that means A2 is equal to 2 times A1 area of cross section is doubled and the current I2 is also equal to 2 times the initial current I1. So I2 by I1 can be replaced by 2I1 2I1 divided by I1 into A1 divided by instead of a2 i can substitute what uh, 2 a1 so now which terms are getting cancelled you see i1 and i1 i1 and i1 a1 and a1 get cancelled 2 and 2 also get cancelled so that is equal to 1 so when v2 by v1 is equal to 1 okay therefore v2 divided by v1 is equal to 1 or v2 is equal to v1 that is equal to the initial 
Drift velocity V itself. So we find that even after increasing the current to double its original value and increasing uh, the area of cross section to double its original value, we find that uh, the drift velocity remains the same in both the cases. So which of the four options is correct? Yes, sir. D. Option D is the correct answer. Therefore, option D is the answer. Have you understood? Okay, fine.